Hello and welcome to the Tribunal Temple, a deck with all three of the Tribunal Gods. And, um, yeah, a bunch of other Exalt cards. All the fancy stuff, but not the fancy person who just stands in the temple praying to all three of them at once. We haven't got him, mainly because I thought the deck can run quite well without him still. And it's a lot of soul gems for me to dip in for one card, which might not appear in the video. But yeah, this is the deck. Uh, if you do want to run... What's his name? Two seconds. If you do want to run this gentleman, uh, I would recommend maybe switching out... You can switch out like an elusive scheme or a headless zombie, perhaps. Headless zombie, maybe, is probably the better option. But yeah, that's just because personally, I don't have the soul gems to just jizz away on him and then not use him for ages but yeah this is the deck and let's get on with the deck the, 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 the. let's get on with the matches look at me not being able to speak okay um i like this i'll keep this works with me So, I'm guessing this player is new to the game by their card back. Definitely not ridiculously high up. <laughs> oh my goodness, they they are a meme lord as well. It's an honour. It truly is an honour. Uh, we are going to Galen. And a controversial, but I'm going to go with Elusive Schema. Just because the deck's probably weakest You'll spot well. is draw power. And... Thank you. I kind of want to get some Repel draw power going. Nice try. Care to go again? You fight well. I'm not saying I'm not saying thank you after every turn. Our foes will have nightmares. Did this guy make the deck drunk or something? What? <laughs> what is that? I'm I'm very. Repel the outlander. Fuck it. <sighs> Just gonna go aggro and fuck it. You know, Tribunal, the one that isn't about. He, he, he's being humble, this guy. He's being very humble. I, I wanna see which turn it is where he just fucking U turns the game and snaps my neck off. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. I think I know what this is. No, 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 I know, I think. Repel the I have a theory it's Swindler's Market. Now. You fight well. Oh, shut up, buddy. Buddy, please. I beg. I beg you. Sign of war. I you fight once well. knew a man oh, from uh, No, pass that. Ready to no, battle. That's no good. No, like, genuinely, I have a feeling this guy no. is. Gonna swindler's market sometime. Just, just have that vibe from him. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's like a Thorana meme deck. Is it Bandari opportunist memes? Whatever, no, because whatever he's doing, this just feels like there's some level of meme behind it. Hence why I'm having to go full aggro on him. The black hand sees all. Well, I like what I'm seeing. But at the same time. My sword is as mighty as my skin. Uh Ooh. We can't fight well. Yeah, thank you. We can't do like a magical one bag. Which is a shame, but We'll eat that. You fight well. So, do you think he thinks that we fight well? Just a theory. As you wish. Well, I'm going in full aggro with a slow tribunal deck because I can I can sense. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Go on, do it. Do it. Oh, I've ripped because Bandari Opportunist is coming a zero cost with draw a card. 
and he's drawing cards through the... Yes. That isn't his original deck, though, but it does have draw a cut. No, it's... But it'll keep on coming back to him. Does he have a way of making that a zero-cost card? Oh, no, it's just because he can do it as a loop, like here. Ooh. I can... He's just going to... Not infinite, but he's got, like, a big draw here, doesn't he? Now, I'd say, but I think Vivek is actually... A very smooth counter to this. Okay, I say smooth. But what I actually mean is... Scary. Because... Be be basically... You'll fight nice well. Try. Guys, you'll fight well. <laughs> this is a weird matchup, I'm not going to lie. It's a very weird one. Because he's he, he knows what he's doing. Like, the man who has made this deck. It's creative as hell, and I love it for that. Let's dance. Let's However. Dance. You'll oh, fight well. Oh, come on. It's, right, I must be missing something here. Please tell me I'm missing something here. I'm not missing anything. There's no buffs. Have I can literally get him to one health. I think for safety's sake, the swindlers, one health the safest You'll number to well. get him to. Mate, buddy, I'm bloody panicking here because uh, if I can't see it... Okay. Right, Vivek is obviously the safe option. But there's a 1 in 8 chance this wins us the game. Oh wait, oh, oh, idea, idea. Not charged, but wait. Nah. Nah. Nah, I was rolling on a charge there. I think he's got it this turn. I'm not going to lie. I genuinely think he has it now. Because one of them might be, or they're probably gonna be like zero cost cards. Bandari Opportunist is his gold card. <sighs> I want to see what this king does. I want to see what this king does. Okay, that's actually just that's really good because that's more health. I should have put it there, admittedly, so we would have had a block on both sides. Oh, I should have put it funny there. You know, guys, I could have gone Vivek, but I chose to go memes and try and low roll. So before you go, you should have vivek Listen, listen. I wanted to try memes. I wanted to try the memes, and the memes did not pay off. Okay? 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 The memes did not pay off, but we had fun. And that's what matters. Wait. Can he not do it? Can he not do it or is that... I genuinely thought that was him ending his turn for a second. Like... Was that zero cost? It was two. Oh. He can't do it. Oh my, wait. Oh. We did it. <laughs> I did not think we'd do that. I did not think we would do that. Oh, <gasps> Could it be the legendary Dark Elf guest? He has returned. <laughs> he seeks revenge. He has added agility to his weapons. Oh, by golly. No, this could be the end of my life. My career. Oh, no. I'm shaking. I am shaking right now. Knowing that I have been placed against the mighty, the powerful Dark Elf guest. If you don't get the joke, by the way, um... <laughs> the other, the other, um... 
a few videos ago we came up against Dark Elf Guest and we just started jesting that they were a professional player. But yeah, that's that's humour for you. Everyone loves a good bit of humour when it's fully explained to them. See, so he's just fully loading up the hand so he can just start shooting over me. Yeah, look at this. I can't even I can't even have a poor little um whatever they're called. They instantly just get destroyed. Let's see, he's got a decent hand. Triumphant Yarl is now gone. No Yarl shall be triumphant while we survive. Issue is that's less power and that's 5-5, five, five, so... Oh, man. Um... Ooh! How about we... Get rid of it. And then we'll break the ring to do this. That's our three. start. And now Ordinator of the Elm CV will be much better. I'm sure the Grand Inquisitor will approve. What's their hand size currently? Seven, okay. Six. Not bad. That's a 5-5. Five, five. So... We are going to attack. We place this here. And then we silence that and damage it by two. There we go. I think that's a decent little setup. And now just watch as it gets completely one-banged by something in their hand. Haunted Manor. So we're probably going to see a lot of cheap cards, I'm assuming. Just tell me who to stab. I mean, that is technically a cheap card. <laughs> and now they play something else and... Ooh! Wowzer, that is, yeah. Not the kind of person you'd want to see in a haunted manor. If you want to talk business, you've come to the right place. Okay, cool. Ooh. Temple Patriarch, hello. Now, obviously... You are not worthy. Uh, do I... I want to keep Temple Conjurer, this is the thing. Grand Inquisitor to destroy this. It seems poor, but then when we can Temple Patriarch the turnover... You will regret your it seems like a decent move. I bring the Justice. They'll see it and assume it was a misplay thinking I thought it was equal or less. But it's actually what we wanted to do because we now have Temple Patriarch to kind of double up on their exalts hoping that they don't start using removal this turn. Entirely possible of course but we'll see. I don't like the way they've done that. Uh, so what you're saying is I went from two really good exalts with our risky play to zero exalts. Uh, what a world. What a world we live in. Um, now here's the thing. Heretics must be punished. I think we just casually drop an Uncarno. I have many important things. And we'll get rid of that. Just because we can. For They've got their battalion. We've got our hand of exalt cards. I can tell they're trying to go for a big battalion. Our business for the last time. 
Yeah, see, um... What we're gonna do is we'll hit face. About this. We're definitely destroying that support. And we'll put down a tree minder. Gee, let's get down this poetic guy as well. Yeah, let's use the ring, screw it. Right. That was the only keyword we didn't really want there. Because it now means Temple Patriarch might not come through in time. But, you know, we move. We move. Right, what have we seen so far which we don't want to see again? Okay, just not really much. The Nords must take back. Irma tests us. Time to fight. Well, they've got the firebrands to get rid of this, which I wish just didn't get guard, but you know these things happen. Of course, defender can get rid of this at least. This reminder we made. This one is destined Oh Underboss is such AIDS. Cause it's immune to damage. You cannot hide. We'll have to settle this the hard way. We must hold the gate. Oh. <coughs> right, and now we're doing this because we're getting the gods we guide and protect them. Yeah. They can have one, but they're not having both. Headless Zombie, does it have any good consume options? Uncarno, obviously. Uh, Death Priest's alright. I think Uncarno is the main shout because it can just be a five point bang to head. We press on. Do they have free in hand again? Kind of. <laughs> I have a feeling they don't want to lose this, so they're just going to keep on hitting face with it or not using it. Or using it for trades that. Yeah. Okay, we'll take that. Awaiting your command. You've in our business for the last time. Thing is, they've, they've got a good hand. They've got Battalion. They've got a Firebrand. They've got the Edge here, definitely. Especially as that's immune to freaking damage. Mother of mud. May the gods have mercy on you. Attack. Wait. May the gods oh, have kidding. mercy on you. So basically, we're in this state again where poetic armager can give us the gate. You're kidding. You're actually kidding. Look at this. The thing that defines this game is the keyword he gets. I once knew a man my sword and my meat. Charge. It's not great though, is it? It's not great. <laughs> oh boy, they're on one health. I mean, it's alright, actually, because it means that they need to have more removal now, or other stuff like that. But, yeah. It's the fact that what they have on the board right now can do 9 to face. If they fully go for it. If he wants to concede, I'll take that. I'll always take a concede. This is the mighty Dark Elf guest, after all. Have business with house oh, the, he's really rolling for something like a shackle, isn't he? I can just sense some form of fancy, fancy you play coming. In our business for the last time. I mean, that's pretty good, because it just means that we've got more things to throw at them. Uh... They actually rolled and got their shackle. Oh, they... Right, I'm only playing this just so I can say I did play a god this video. There we go. 
Oh, God. There we go. And that will end this video. Apologies if it's a bit shorter. I don't know how long that game went on for, but the mighty Dark Elf guest wanted revenge after last time, and we just edged it. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.